Well, what a fine way to kick off tonight's edition of Headbangers Ball. That was Slayer with the classic track Seasons in the Abyss, the title track of their 1990 album. And of course, Headbangers Ball is celebrating the fact that Slayer has returned to the scene in 1994 with a new album, Divine Intervention. And we are bringing you exclusive coverage of the Slayer European tour tonight, meeting all the bands on the bill. And of course, Machine Head are the main support band, but joining Slayer for two dates in Ireland, in Dublin and Belfast. It's downset and uh, we're just going to have a very quick chat to the guys once again. I've got James and Ray here at the Ulster Hall backstage. And guys, um, we last met up with you on the Pantera tour and I know that was very successful for you but it ended on a little bit of an unexpected note because I understand that you parted ways with one of your guitarists. Could you tell us what happened? Yes, we parted way w ways with um, Roy, one of our guitarists and it was um, basically just something to do with him and the band the rest of the band and it's a it's a personal issue and uh, it's just like it's just like losing like a brother you know it's just like it's just like one of the family so it's like not something i want to go into detail with but it's just it was it's a, it was a hard thing that happened and but hopefully it's for the better and hopefully things will be working out and are you going to continue as a four piece well um at least you know, as far as long as we're in europe yeah which is a couple more shows but um I'm not sure about when we get back home. We're going to see what we can do, but it's got to be someone, you know, that, that you know, we can, all can agree is someone who is willing, you know, that we're willing to and there. It just that feels right. But I'm not sure. We're just, we're kind of just getting over the loss as far as right now, but we're just having to carry on. Yes, I know, because you're a very close band, so like you say, it is like actual a loss if somebody's going to leave so good luck with finding a replacement now um you know ray we met up with you on the pantera tour you toured with uh, biohazard as well in europe and now you've got these slayer dates um those are probably like three of the best tours you could you could wish to have um what how have you got these are these like lucky breaks or is it the fact that you have the kind of respect of your peers as well um like i said before it's just like you know we just end up on tours you know we don't like plan on being any specific things but um we just it just feels it feels good like i said before to just like tour with like these people because it's like you find out they're just regular people just like anybody else you know and um hanging out with phil like you just like see because i seen them on mtv the most and, like and just to see that was like just to hang out and stuff was cool because he's just like a normal guy just like anybody else you know so it's it's good it's good that we got on these tours you know and, and did this because it's like this is like the like prime opportunities for Europe and, and what else can we ask we're really lucky people to do what we're doing and, it, and I know that you're very pleased in particular to be here in Ireland aren't you Ray yeah um hanging out with um, a bunch of guys from some band called Katsun just hanging out and just taking me around Belfast and showing me around you know it's always been my dream to come here because LA and like Belfast got like some similar situations going on you know so it's good to check it out and you have played in ireland before haven't you yeah, one one previous time in dublin with uh, biohazard and doggy dog yeah. so do you think the slayer audience is particularly tough no because like you know we played in dublin last night <clears throat> and um we asked the audience how many of you guys were here before when we were here with biohazard and doggy dog and over half of them like cheered so it's just a great feeling to know that you know, you got about half people that have seen us and half people that haven't, and it, the shows seem to go down excellent. And as far as for us just being here one other time, you know, we're just, it's really good to be here and have that much support from an audience. It do, it's totally unexpected, and just the Irish kids are just great. It's just like they're one big happy family, and they, they're just real friendly. I they love are, them. They are. Everybody that we've met here has been really friendly. It's great. And of course, you're one of the first bands to play here since the ceasefire as well, which I know would mean a lot to you. Yeah, that definitely means a lot to me. It's kind of like, I, I didn't think about that before, and then now that you let me know that, that's like a that's like a big thing to me because I'm very aware of the situation over here, and, and to be one of the first bands on a tour that's the, one of the first to come over here after the ceasefire means kind of is like a milestone in my life almost. That's 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 really that's like almost being like one of the bands to play in East Germany after like the wall comes down or something. It's it's really great. Well, I hope you have a good show tonight. I know it's going to be fun. Very quickly, your plans for the future. Are you going to be clocking up more miles on the road? Well, we got about two glorious weeks off going back to L.A. in about two days. We got two weeks off, and then we're back out in the States with Testament. 
and then um, we're probably going to do another leg in the U.S. for about another month after Christmas, and then hopefully we'll be back here in Europe and Ireland and the U.K. Um, around March or April, and I'm not sure with who, but can't wait to get back. It's always a pleasure to talk to you guys. Thanks for joining me on Headbangers Ball here in Belfast. Thanks for, thanks for talking to us again. This is kind of cool, man. Like right, the right again. You know, we're talking to you right after a couple weeks. It's great. Well, thanks very much. That's Downset, the latest news on the guys. And uh, as you can hear, there's a lot of activity going on in the background there. A sound check, which is uh, heralding the arrival of Slayer a little bit later on in tonight's show. Now, uh, we're not going to show you Downset on video because we've got something better for you. We're going to have a look at Downset live here at the Elster Hall in Belfast. So stay tuned as the Headbangers Ball Slayer Tour special continues. More after this live performance from Downset. coming to you from uh, Belfast in Northern Ireland and a little earlier in the show there we met up with Downset who are just joining Slayer on the two Irish dates kicking off the tour and up next it's time to meet the band supporting Slayer right across Europe and that is my old friends Machine Head and I've got Rob and Adam joining me here at the Elster Hall 